Hey, it's Rob from Dowdle Family Farms. I'm gonna pull up this hybrid pearl millet here and we'll take a look at its root structure. It's got that very typical seed pod on it. It's been grazed once. It's regrown a little bit from the crown. So I'm gonna pull it up and we'll take a look at what it looks like. So you can see what the bottom of it looks like. It's spread out pretty wide, uh, seven or eight inches wide worth of roots from the pearl millet. This is one that I pulled up and shook all the dirt off of. Uh, these roots are balled up a little bit more, but they would have been spread out as well. So I'm really amazed by the root structure on this hybrid pearl millet. Surprised it regrew as well as it did after pigs have grazed it. And I've got lots of rye and oats growing in this paddock and also some purple top turnips that are growing really well the pigs kind of demolished this cover crop i replanted it while the pigs were in here i'll put a link to those two videos in the description um, but this is the purple top turnip we've still got three or four maybe five or six weeks of weather before the frost hits so it'll be interesting to see what this paddock looks like um, if after it has some time to regrow uh, but there's more of the purple top turnip more mustard and that kind of thing and you can see some volunteer buckwheat right there that grew up from an earlier seeding, once this paddock was kind of cleared up some, uh, the buckwheat kind of grew. There's not a whole lot of it, maybe one plant every 10 to 15 square feet. But, uh, well, here's two of them, that white flower there and that white flower there, right there side by side, but there's not that much in this paddock. So anyway, this is the update of the Paddock that I reseeded in the rain several weeks ago. I'll put a link in the video description so you can take a look at it. I'll link it in the end card. Take care and have a great day.